put the prison. I fucking hate TikTok. <laughs> So this is either a telltale sign that Malcolm X didn't have a fucking clue what he was talking about and or he did work for our masters, which doesn't appear to be the case, but I could be wrong. Either way, he was sacrificed, which is fucked up. What's funny is, I mean, he polarized people in a lot of fucking ways, but I really, I like, okay. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Martin Luther King, but I do like Malcolm X because he, he sounded like he was willing to walk the walk. Not just talk the talk. I like where his heart was coming from, even though he was still polarizing people in all the stupid fucking ways. In all the wrong fucking ways. But, with that being said, as a people, if you've been oppressed, it makes sense that you're going to carry more than just a chip on your fucking shoulder. It does. It does. Now, with that being said, don't forget that the Barbaroi pirates uh, had a bunch of white fucking slaves and it outnumbered a good majority of the black slaves that most people know about. But that doesn't come up. Let that sink in. Because it's relevant. It's just not talked about. Because most people don't research. Um, so back to point. He's urging people to vote. But he's also telling you to buy into one of them and not the other one. At least that's what it fucking sounds like. And I'll play it in a second. Um, which is polarizing garbage. Moreover, this is another aspect of him not knowing what he talk what he's talking about and or working for somebody. All voting is a fucking joke. Voting has never fucking mattered. And what I what I always rattle off about the fucking republic and the civil war in eighteen seventy one. That circumvents, that overrides, that that trumps all this fucking garbage. And I said Trump, but I'm not trying to allude to, you know, the one of the many stewards of the fucking corporation that a lot of people praise and or hate because people are dumb. Those fucking pieces of shit are worthless. They shouldn't have power, but you and I give them power. Collectively, we empower them because most people buy into shit like this. You're going to put the present Democratic administration in Washington, D.C. The whites were evenly divided. It was the fact that you threw 80% of your votes behind the Democrats that put the Democrats in the White House. When you see this, you can see that the Negro vote is the key factor. Stewards of the District of Columbia are selected. They are not elected. You and I, we, we don't matter. We don't have a say in this. We don't have a dog in the race. But stupid police, stupid people believe the official narrative that most people shop around. They reaffirm our master's propaganda and they circulate it, which is exactly what this idiot's doing. Tiffany, whoever the fuck. And despite the fact that you are in a position to, to be the determining factor, what do you get out of it? The Democrats have been in Washington, D.C. only because of the Negro vote. They've been down there four years. And that all other legislation they wanted to bring up, they brought it up and gotten it out of the way, and now they bring up you. Fuck this, mo this music is emotional. You. you put them first, and they put you last. Because you're a chump. A political chump. Washington, D.C., in the House of Representatives, there are 257 who are Democrats. Only 177 are Republicans. Who cares? In the Senate, there are 67 uh, Democrats. Only 33 are Republicans. Ooh. How did you pass? Control two-thirds of the House of Representatives in the Senate, and still they can't keep their promise to you. And none of them are in seats of power to benefit you and I. Not one of them. Throughout all these long, long decades, and <laughs> not one of them. Not one of them has the people's interest in mind. They will tell you oh, a whole bunch of flowery fucking shit. But what do you see? It's the same thing that stewards of the corporation do. They'll tell you one thing and they'll do another thing once they're in office. What do you fucking see? What tracks? Are things getting better? Have things gotten better? You could track it just in terms of uh, the ongoing war, the enduring fucking war. That's why we fly the wartime flag of the District of Columbia, for fuck's sake. Because we are always at war. 
there's nothing but proof of this shit. This is superficial what I'm talking about. Which is ironic because he's also polarizing people. And so is this gal in terms of skin as well. And in terms of the red versus the blue. Two wings, same bird as some people will say. It's, it's all a fucking show. It's a fucking show. If you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of America, you know, and what I was alluding to earlier, watch the other videos that I've left online. They're not on all on TikTok. You might have to fucking look things up and figure out where I left stuff. Most people aren't going to do that because you and I are surrounded by fucking retards. 